Hi everyone, this is Jackie from Smith Family Travels coming at you with another travel tip video. This time we're going to talk about how to eat cheap or inexpensively while traveling. So when we travel, you know, we're a big family, there's five of us, and then when my mother-in-law comes, there's six of us, sometimes we travel with my mom as well. Seven people, meals can cost easily 70 euros per meal, and you have three meals to eat in a day, you want to do other things other than spend all your travel budget on meals. So here's some things that we do to cut down the cost on food while we travel. So number one, get a kitchen. So we always try, if at all possible, whenever we travel, that we book an apartment on, and we usually book it on Airbnb, number one priority is a kitchen. So that will really cut down on your meal costs. So what we usually do is we'll prepare breakfast, we'll have breakfast before we leave, we'll go on out for the day, and then of course we'll buy lunch, sometimes we'll buy dinner, if we're close enough to the apartment we'll pick up something and then go back to the apartment. So having a kitchen will save you a ton of money on food costs when you travel. Number two, go to the local grocery store. So we always try to make sure that wherever we're staying that is close to a local grocery store. When we check in with the Airbnb host, we ask them, you know, where's the, where's the local grocery store? We go there and we stock up on some breakfast items, milk, juice, water, bread, eggs, cheese, bacon. Those are pretty much the standard things that we pick up. And then we can have some items, as I said, for to make some breakfast and maybe some sandwiches, you know, bedtime snacks stuff like that. So going to the local grocery store is a good way to cut down on meal costs and it's also a great way to find new items. So I love going to local grocery stores and seeing what they have that's similar to what we have and what's very different. It's kind of a cool way I think to see what the locals eat and to see you know that's the first time that we ever knew that in a lot of places in Europe they don't put eggs in the fridge. When I was looking for eggs when we were in Rome you know, I'm looking in the fridge section, couldn't find it, and then lo and behold, it's on a shelf. I'm like, they keep their eggs on a shelf? And then when we were in Spain, I asked Patrick's um, cousin lives in Spain, you guys keep your eggs on the shelf? She goes, oh yeah, we, we don't put eggs in the fridge. Goes, yeah, I mean, that was a cool thing to find out. You won't find that out if you didn't go to a grocery store. And sometimes you can get prepared food in a grocery store. So sometimes they have like um, sandwiches already prepared or a whole roasted chicken or a chicken breast and rice even sometimes. And that would be an easy dinner for one night when you don't want to go to a restaurant. I also bring sandwich bags and foil from home. So if we decide to stop in a grocery store and get some fresh bread, like a fresh baguette, we get some sandwich meat and some cheese. I'll go back to the apartment and you know make sandwiches and then I can put them in sandwich bags and foil if we're going on a day trip. So that's an easy way you save on a lunch cost. Follow the locals. So when you're out and about and you guys are getting hungry and you're by the Colosseum and there's restaurants around the Colosseum, be sure that those restaurants are gonna cost much more than a restaurant one or two blocks down the street. So you can actually ask your Airbnb host or the hotel clerk what's a nice cheap restaurant. Sometimes you're going down some streets that aren't touristy streets, they're like local streets and there's restaurants there and you see locals actually lining up and eating there. Make a mental note of it, take a picture of it, the street name, and then when you're finished your sightseeing, then go back to that area. That's the less touristy area. I'm sure you get better food and cheaper prices than going to a restaurant that's nearby a touristy landmark. And if you have a little bit of room left in your luggage, which I always make sure that all of us has, bring some stuff from home. So I bring staples like tea, hot chocolate, crackers, salt and pepper. I'll also bring cereal because that's a quick, easy thing that you can have for breakfast or even a bedtime snack once you buy your milk from the grocery store. So bringing a few items from home can save you quite a bit. You don't wanna to have to go to a grocery store and buy a package of tea when you could have just brought five tea bags from home. So I hope those tips are useful to you. These are the things that we do to save on meal costs while we travel. But let me know if there's anything else that you do in your family to save on meal costs while you travel. And if this video was useful to you, please click on the like button and subscribe.